All right, guys, welcome back to 5D Mystery School. This particular lecture is called Exit the Matrix, Human Cloning. Um, this lecture could range anywhere from an hour, maybe two hours, uh, but I'll try to make it quick, precise, and to the point. So the expected learning outcome and agenda. What is the matrix? What is media? Why cloning? Who are the clones? How can we change the narrative? All right. And the next lecture is going to be like breaking down 3D, uh, our reality, the simulation. What is it? What can be proven? Um, what do we know? And what have we been taught? All right. So at the end, it'll be like five to 10 minutes of questions. Uh, but pretty much the, the main points are who owns the media, you know, mind control, transhumanism, media conditioning. Um, I'm going to show you guys some receipts, some proof, um, some celebs speaking out, and dumb bases, which stands for deep underground military bases. All right, and like I said before, the project timeline should be about an hour. All right, overview. You can call me Astro 5D. This is 5D Mystery School. I have many lectures on my page, you know, YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, but let's call this the first live presentation. My overall goal is to help the collective consciousness remember who they are. Right now, we are in a perfectly woven simulation. Now, this might sound very odd to you, but hopefully you'll stay enrolled to witness the truth. My truth doesn't have to be your truth and vice versa. However, all of my claims can and will be substantiated with irrefutable proof. The purpose of 5D Mystery School is to be a safe space for people that are also using their third eye to navigate through this matrix. Have you ever stopped to wonder the real meaning of your life? Well, you are not alone. And together, we will uncover the truths of this reality so that we can exit the matrix. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to share this video with a loved one that will also enjoy it. Also, if you like, you can donate one dollar to the cause. Um, the cash app is dollar sign. There you go. And this will allow for more resources for research. All right, to further, you know, investigate. Um, so the agenda, three main points, really. What is the media? Why cloning? Who are the clones? All right. And as you can see there, that's a photo of, you know, Eminem at the beginning of his career and Eminem today. Uh, now you just pause and sit with that for a second. Cloning simplified. Imagine with me, if you will. Human cloning is a tool used for mind control and evil deeds. We've cloned animals, humans, and mixed hybrids. Cloning takes place at cloning centers located in deep underground military bases, also known as a dump. And everything that I'm saying can be researched. Uh, I saw it public information, you can find a lot of declassified CIA and FBI files if you just go and do some research and we will uh, dig into that in other lectures. Um, when someone is cloned, their original shell is either discarded or stored somewhere. A lot of celebrities that you see on Tell A Vision are actually clones. This technology is not new and has been around for longer than you can imagine. The media simplify. Media is a word that is derived from medium. 
medium is a method or a way of expressing something. For example, if you are a musician, music is your medium for expression. So therefore, the news media is a way of conveying events and information to the masses. From my personal experiences, seeing people use the media as a way of navigating through this matrix is very common. I mean, admittedly, I myself have college degrees, you know, so I've been through the indoctrination system as well. Uh, you want to trust and believe that you are being told the truth. Well, let's take a look at who the source of the information is that is being fed to you. So you can pause and sit with this if you will. You can see that Disney uh, owns about 17.2 billion worth of the media. NBC owns 16.9 billion worth of media. CBS owns 14.1 billion worth of the media. And as you can see uh, with this map, all of the companies that are tied to these major, these three, the big three, you know? Um, and taking this in mind with a logical mindset and a rational mindset, everything that you see on television is being controlled by these three companies. And it's been this way for a while. Um, I mean, entertainment, Whew, we're gonna take a look at that word. Entertain, the definition of entertain is to keep, hold, or maintain in the mind. So with that being known, news media entertainment, because that's the, the actual name of it, is just to keep, hold, or maintain in the mind with the uh, recent events or scripted um, shows that they put on. And I'll, uh, I have a video to substantiate what I'm saying right now. So this means that mass media entertaining uh, is conveying news about important information and or recent events to keep you locked in a certain mindset. So this concept is also applies to television and movies because that is media as well. There are plenty of instances where you have seen a movie and later saw a similar event happen in real life. This is called predictive programming. The real people in control like to hide their agenda in plain sight so that you unknowingly yet willingly participate. It's called magic. Let's take a look at this video. One second. San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, to is to serve our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble that's trying to be responsible for one side of the news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of bias and false, false news has, has become, become all too common on social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same stories without checking facts first. Some media outlets publish the same stories without checking facts first. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 
This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Uh, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 All right, guys. So, All righty. All righty. So I'll let you sit with that for a second. You know, really sit with that and think about what you just saw. You know, uh, that's, you can't make that, you can't make it up. Hi, I'm Boston Attorney Jessica Hedwig. <laughs> I get to the next slide. What the... Hi, I'm Fox and Terry. It's Jessica Hedwig. I don't want to. Okay, so what is the purpose of cloning? One, control. Essentially, the real wants a comparatively small population that will obey commands without hesitation. Two, manipulation. You can't be controlled, then they could replicate slash clone popular celebrities that will ultimately influence your decision to obey. Kind of funny, it's like that clothing line, uh, obey. And if you know anything about that clothing line, it, they were also the same company that ended up making the logo for the Obama uh, <laughs> presidency campaign or, you know, campaign presidency. So, um, yeah. Transformation. Since our current simulation is crumbling, they need to reset the game to maintain control. They would like you to be more of a robot. The goal is to chip you and forever tie you to the matrix. Transhumanism. Imagine, if you will, if your consciousness was removed from your body and put into a machine, would you become immortal but controllable? This is the goal. And it's funny because that sentence, I mean, just that, you know, um, number four, you know, last year or maybe a couple of years ago, you'd be like, nah, this is this is like conspiracy theory, science fiction, but they have news, you know, articles about this exact thing that you can go and find on YouTube right now. Everything that I'm saying can be proven. The cloning center. The cloning center is at a deep military underground bases or bases, multiple. Um, at this facility, they have a level called the cloning center. Um, allegedly, at this same level, they conduct celebrity death matches. And I have a video I'll show you with that, with these clones. Now that we have a basic understanding, let's dive deeper. A hard truth before we go on. Before we move on, the hard truth must be said. We are living in a simulation on a flat plane. I should say flat, not flare a flat plane under a firmament. This firmament prevents you from leaving. Your reality is upheld by electric towers, not cell phone towers, that emit frequencies that keep your mind locked into this frequency. Chemicals are put in your food, sprayed in the air with chemtrails, put in your water, and, and that they're, they're filled with nanotechnology that keeps this illusion alive. In the past, the people that have come forward to help you aware of this reality have been taken out of this game. The simulation is the game. 
in a video game, when you die, you respawn back into the game. It's just a game like that. And that is the basis of reincarnation. That white light that people see in near-death experiences is your entrance back into the matrix. Celebrities are treated as modern day gods that influence the masses of what is trending and popular. If Drake made a song that says, go get the jab, a lot of people would go and get the jab. So I don't know if you guys remember this show, it's called Celebrity Deathmatch. It was pretty popular when I was growing up. I'm a millennial, um, you know, so pretty young, but this was a popular show called Celebrity Deathmatch and they had a bunch of just different uh, clay type of animation of uh, celebrities fighting each other uh, to the death. It was like weird, dark humor. Um, but now in retrospect, uh, I can see how this ties in um, later. Keep this in mind for the video um, I'm gonna show a little later. Um, and then this is a, a video by Eminem called, uh, I think it's The Real Slim Shady or How My Name Is, one of those, The Real Slim Shady, yeah. Um, and he has a bunch of you know clones. These are, this is not, it's not only him, it's like, it's a lot of different music videos that have the same kind of thesis. Uh, so stop and take a deep breath and actually look at your surroundings. Actually do this. Just take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and look at your surroundings. Dissect the words that you speak daily. What do they mean? Are you just saying words um, that you accumulate out of school books or reading, but not really knowing the origin of what the word actually means? Watch the food that you choose to eat every day because that influences your thoughts, which influences your reality. Every decision you make down here either helps you remember or makes you forget about this game. Watch the film, The Matrix, and listen to every single word. That is the only movie that you really need to see to understand where we are. If you truly listen to every single word, watch the first one. All of them are good, but I'm uh, specifically speaking about the first one. You see, they tell you that we are on a huge round ball hurling at 66, 600, or 66,600 miles per hour through this universe. That's the actual number. You can go and look it up. If that is possible, why do we see the same constellations every single night? Why is there no real photo that can prove we are on the Earth? Every photo that you go on Google, those are computer generated images. I put out a challenge the other day um, where I was, you know, offering a little, you know, some cash for people to send me a photo of the earth, but no one can do it. Uh, we have the technology to prove it, you know, to just go up there and take a photo of this earth. We have the technology, look at your cell phones, um, but no one ever has. So then, if there is no evidence that has been provided that shows we are on around Earth, why do we believe it? Or not, I don't want to say we plural because that would generalize everybody, but why do, why do the majority believe it? In the reality indoctrination system known as school, we are taught to use critical thinking and only believe things that can be empirically proven. Everything you have been taught are comfortable lies to make you willingly participate in the game. Just don't question the game or you are crazy. The rules are school, work, debt, pay off the debt, get a family, and then train them to do the same thing to play the game. And then you die, reincarnate, and repeat. It's a perfectly woven matrix. All right. So here's some tweets from, uh, it's a celebrity uh, hip hop artist, B.O.B. He's a, 
he's been known. He's when it, he was in the headlines not too long ago. I think it was like or maybe like two or three years ago, um, where he was speaking about this subject. Um, and we're just gonna just read through some things to see what's going on here, uh, because these are people who are on the inside. And so, I mean, even now in this, you know, today, uh, there was like Nicki Minaj speaking out about the vaccine, and then so many people came to back her, and then. You know, Tory Lane, Tory Lane starts saying, you know, he's going to start spilling secrets about the industry. So it's like a lot of different people coming forward with the same type of claims. You know, if one person said it, okay. Two people, you raise an eyebrow. Three people, okay. Research, because that's, you know, that's a consistent story. Um, and that's, you know, me personally. And the indoctrination system my degrees are based in research so um i before i present something i have to try to prove myself wrong debunk myself you know so that i can make sure that i'm providing the correct information um but bob notice the celebrity who have tattoos or piercings uh, mysteriously vanish question mark equal cloning center when a celebrity in great health suddenly suffered a stroke heart attack aneurysm equals cloning center. Hundreds of kids go missing each uh, each year equals cloning center. Every time you see a celebrity randomly lose their mind, cloning center. I swear I don't want attention or money or fame no more just to get the truth out, the truth you've been hitting from since birth. I mean, these are some very strong claims that he's making um, that I really think that people should look into. Uh, by all means, please don't follow me or go along with anything that I say or inform you uh, about or do your own research, which is similar to what I've been saying. So we're going to pause it right there so you can really digest that information. So my nosy ass neighbors don't like, you know. All right, moving along, he says, and uh, reading, continuing the tweets, he says, the deception is so deep, like it's literally deep within the earth. That tweet right there is actually like, <laughs> that's the telltale law. If you, if you had to look at any tweet on these, uh, you know, on this page, I would say that that right there would be the target. Um, Mount Zion, which they speak of in the Matrix. Um, Argatha, which Admiral Byrd spoke of. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Admiral Byrd, but Admiral Byrd um, did do a mission to Antarctica and came back on live television and said that there is a massive amounts of land down there, big as North America with plenty of resources. So. Um, those type of claims are big and the people who are making them are well, you know, educated, uh, healthy state of mind people. So these type of claims like should really be researched. So again, I already read that one. Uh, the deception is so deep, like it's literally deep within the earth. Um, the plan is to collect everyone's DNA, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, he says, what else here? Crisis actors, um, a system that doesn't serve the people will never win. All my social media outlets are heavily monitored. Um, that's what happens when you um, start to say things that goes against the narrative. Uh, I mean, look at they, they banned Donald Trump, a president of the United States from Twitter. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty wild. I mean, I've never seen anything like that like ever happened before. Um, so this is another person, uh, Tila Tequila. She was a celebrity. Um, and we're going to look at her tweets. 
because she also made some heavy claims and I'm gonna play a video here uh, from her later as well. Okay, so resuming with uh, tweets from this actress, uh, Tila Tequila. And rest in peace to her, she was actually found dead after, you know, making the video I'm gonna show later and making these tweets. So she says, if Earth was a spinning globe and the sun was supposedly 150 million light years away, I don't know if she uh, knows the accurate numbers, um, but um, then how come the sun ray beams straight down? Um, yeah, there are some credible scientists on YouTube right now asking the same questions. Uh, she says, if I get killed in 2016, you all know it's because I exposed the earth as being flat. And she was, in fact, killed. Um, 
I will stop my flat earth talk if someone could send me a goddamn photo of the horizon with a curvature. Otherwise, it's flat. And nobody produced a photo of that for her. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so I'll let you, you know, this is somebody else who kind of uh, went haywire, Amanda Bynes. And I'll let you, you know, pause and read those through yourself. Um, but this one's important. She says, I consider myself to be a hero to have suffered 27 years with a birth defect and now just have it surgically removed. So if you guys know anything about her, she's been in the entertainment industry her entire life. Uh, she went through the, yeah, like through childhood. So that's a pretty big uh, statement right there. Um, if you read between the lines. So you all, you all are familiar with Kanye West. Uh, so it says if I get locked up like Mandela, y'all will know why. Um, and this one is, I will put my life on the guy that Norse mom would never photograph her doing Playboy and that's on God. I'm at the ranch, come and get me. Everybody knows the movie Get Out about is about me. Man, these are some like, you know, if you read between the lines here, uh, you know, if you've done the research about what really happens in the industry, then these are some pretty strong, uh, like putting your life on the line claims. Um, Cause this one goes, talks about like pedophilia, uh, which we'll get on in another lecture. Um, but whew, that's, a, that's a heavy topic. Um, so Ye said they tried to 5150 me he said, I've been, get, I've been trying to get divorced since Kim met with Meek at the Waldorf for prison reform. I got 200 more to go. <laughs> I mean, like he went on a, man, uh, this tweet is important. Some people have to work within the existing consciousness while some people can shift the consciousness. Um, yeah, that's very true. If you know anything about Yogananda, um, while he was on this last speech, his last lecture, if you will. Uh, he said, now is my time to go. And he tr transcended, you know, he like left this physical body. Um, and that was, I've never heard of anybody else doing that, um, just willingly live, leaving their physical body. Um, so, you know, when you have things that happen like that in life, and I've, you know, I've had personal experiences that, you know, I've I think I probably talk about my TikTok. Um, when you have certain experiences in life, you just you just know that you know there's there's more to what you have been taught. You know, the things that you were told not to question. You know, those are the things that are worth looking into, in my opinion. Um. So, Chris, don't play with me. You and that Kamye. That's. You and that Kamye, that can be a reference to a clone, uh, are not allowed around my children. Y'all try to lock me up. Um, and then he posted this video, Michael Jackson with black and white. This video is filled with symbols. If you're, if you ever studied symbolism, you should go and watch that video, Michael Jackson, black and white, because it's uh, definitely um, like an allegorical type of visual. Um, so here's other examples, you know, pause and look at all these photos. These were all taken in, you know, with these two particular were taken within like the same week or two. Um, but, you know, look at this, like, look at the face, look at the structure, the eyes, like look at every, take everything in. Now take a look at this, how it's completely, I mean, you don't even have to be there to know that the, te the texture of the skin is different. Um, but just this transformation to go from this to this in a week, um, you know, unless he's about to drop a film where he's looking like this, then, you know, it's, that raises some eyebrows, at least for me it does. Because that's a rapid transformation with, within the week. This was July 12th and this one was, you know, July something with, it's pretty close. Um, so things to make you go, hmm. All right, and you know, speaking of hiding things in plain sight, these are definitely some good films to go and check out. Uh, you have this movie with Will Smith, Gemini Man. Uh, then you have this movie, Transcendence, which is about transhumanism. And the main character's name is Dr. Will 
caster, like casting a will. Um, I think that's pretty interesting. And, you know, it's about transferring your consciousness into a machine, which has been kind of like a popular theme in science lately. So it's like we're at the beginning. Where it's, it's not science fiction anymore because it's happening in a modern day. Um, then you have this movie with Keanu Reeves, Replicas. Uh, it's a very interesting watch. Uh, you should watch Surrogates as well with Bruce Willis, uh, The 13th Floor, uh, The Waking Life. These are, these are all films you should, you know, check out. Um, what else? Of course, you know, The Matrix. Uh, television show, The OA, uh, Travelers. You know, those are some, those are some, uh, some eggs, Easter eggs I'll throw out there for you to go and check out. Here's some other things. Um, Justin Bieber, a couple years ago, uh, he ran into a church and made a claim that pedophiles run the music industry. And it was a big thing. Like people were talking about it for a little bit and then it just kind of like disappeared. Um, and Nicki Minaj tweeted this. She says, my tears have dried and I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper searching for people who can relate, hashtag stop human cloning. Now, I'll just, I'll just let you pause and think about that for a second. All right, and with that, you know, B.O.B. tweeted, no matter how much overwhelming evidence is presented to humans, they won't believe it until it comes on their corporate driven news. <laughs> uh, and referencing back to the news video I showed earlier, that's, yeah, you can definitely see how that relates. Um, but this tweet right here in particular, um, this one is, is just, I mean, you have somebody who's deep in the industry says, hashtag stop human cloning. Like that's, that's pretty deep. Um, and going back to what B.O.B. tweeted earlier, um, said missing children. And the New York Magazine says that Rihanna's Met Gala dress made everyone think of pizza. And if you know anything about symbolism, this is a reference to pedophilia. Um, so when things like this happen, when it comes from a, a magazine, a big entity like this, it's just, you have to look into it. Um, Alanis Morissette last week, or I think like a couple of days ago, came out and said that music industry is run by elite pedophiles. They're all child rapists. I mean, this is Alanis Morissette. This is somebody who's like a, a huge, you know, name in music. So when she comes out and says something like that, then... Whew. I mean, you're putting your entire career on the line with that with that claim. So that should be looked into, um, especially with everything that happened recently with like Jeffrey Epstein. You know, that whole pedophilia ring is, yeah, that's that uh, sentence holds a lot of weight. Um, but of course, people that come forward like her, that's why I posted this right here. You know, they all. This is another sign that they're all in this club and. They all have to hush about it. And I wanted to put this movie here, Silence of the Lambs, because <laughs> that's that's what it that's what it is. We are the lambs. You know, they got it, they have to keep their silence from us. And this monarch uh, butterfly, you know anything about symbolism, then you know this this represents uh, Freemasonry. So when you see symbolism like this taking place in a title like this and knowing the meaning of you know symbolism with the this sign in particular with the hushing you know it's it's all connected really it's like a it's like gaslighting <laughs> it's like trolling the public all right so we're going to take a look at some videos um with different you know Celebrities deep in the industry saying something that's similar, you know, that's consistent, a consistent theme. Um, 
I don't know if we're gonna watch the, you know, the video will run a, a while if we were to watch all of these, like all the way through, because this video in itself is like an hour. I'll just show you some important parts and then you can go and watch on your own. And uh, this one we'll probably watch a lot of uh, because she died shortly after. Uh, so yeah. Hey everybody. All right, so let's start off with this one with from uh, Tila Tequila. Rest in peace. Hey, it is Miss Tila, freedom fighter. Um, so I'm making this video because now is the time and uh, I am about to release some very important documents as well as proof, so you know, and uh, once again, I want to thank you all for your support because the more you support me, the more I'm able to speak out for you and expose more truths to you. Because I'm only I'm the only one here doing this, and uh, they continue to block me out and uh, do whatever they can to discredit me, to make me disappear. Because they know they can just point blank assassinate me because I keep telling you and warn you ahead of time. So. If they do that, then everybody will know that they murdered me. So they're going to try to kill me in other ways. And I'm going to point out to you a few, a few things, a few of their tactics that they're doing that um, to prevent you from being fooled. OK. First of all, once again, and please pay attention and uh, repost, download this video because I've been I, set it up so that you all can download the video and repost it anywhere, everywhere, as much as you can so everybody knows what's going on. Because this is not about me. I'm only gonna start out to prove certain things about what they're trying to do to me first so that you know the truth. That way, when I continue on subjects, subject matters about what they're doing to everybody else, then you know who's telling the truth and who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. Apparently, I'm the good guy. Okay, first of all, as far as these haters, again, let me point out to you that, sure, there's, you know, haters here and there, but they're just like random idiots. That's like, whatever war, and that's it. But the ones that work for the government and the CIA, they have their drones that they hire, and there are masses of them called gang stalking, and uh, um, they're getting paid to do that. They're getting paid to build Tila hate sites. And, uh, you know, they, a lot of those um, government owned sites or corporate, you know, corporations like Facebook and YouTube, even YouTube and all those sites, um, they have ways to block out the people's comments that are supporting the cause. And what they do is, trust me, they're very cunning. I, I will give them credit that they are very smart. They're very smart, but for, unfortunately for them, so am I. And I have been doing this. I have been, it, on the inside, I've been an insider for 10 years now. So I know exactly what's going on. I'm able to directly point out when they have made their presence on my site, on any, all those other sites, and I know what they did. So what they're doing is they're blocking out all the, the majority of the comments of um, people who are supporting the cause, people who are sick of what being lied to, and they block all of you guys out. They even try to block out my post, the status, um, so that people can't see them, so that I'm being silenced. and. I continue to say that that's against the law or actually they get you brainwashed because we are all born as human beings of this planet. So we have natural God-given rights to say as we choose. They don't have power over our lives, okay? We have something called human rights, which is the, the law of the universe. 
the fact that we were born, we have a voice. God gave us a voice. So therefore, we're able to speak our minds. So that's what I mean. There are certain personal human universal laws that we have rights to, okay, and they don't have rights to control that. Okay, let me get to the point now. I want you guys to be very well aware because I, everything I've been saying so far has been proven right because I say, say these things ahead of time. So how is, that the, how is it that I can predict it ahead of time and then it happens? There's your confirmation that I'm not lying to you guys. I'm on your side. I'm risking my life, which has been severely impacted by the fact that I'm standing up for you guys and the people. I'm risking my life. I'm risking my career because they're, they own all the media and all that. So I'm risking my life, I'm risking my career, I'm risking everything. I'm putting my ass in the line for you guys, for us. Do I, ha do I have to do this? No, I can easily not do this because it's not really doing me any good. It's not getting me paid. It's only ruining my life. So that's how you know that I'm speaking the truth because I have no ulterior motive to do so anyway. All it's doing is ruining my life. And that's the main reason why a lot of celebrities don't speak up for the people because they want to maintain famous and uh, they could give a rat's ass about you. They want to be glorified. I mean, they want to be famous and make their money. And as long as they're being pushed out of the media, they're going to continue to be puppets to the government. Well, the reason why I'm speaking against them is because I've had enough of the more information that I've had, I have come across about everything they're doing. It just stuns me and I, there's, there's no way I'm gonna just sit here and be quiet. And the fact is the media has done nothing but harm my life. So I owe them nothing. So anyways, I want you guys to notice that do not be fooled by these so-called online bullies because now that I've called them out, they're very cunning, they're very clever. So now that I've pointed that out and you guys are seeing that for your own eyes, of the fact that you know these are not regular haters, they go on and on and they bully you and they bully you and they write these long things to, to portray me as this liar. Like, well, look what she did here, look what she did there. They, they spend all their time making these websites. And I mean, for instance, the most recent one was when, um, they kept bullying everybody and tricking people into thinking, oh, well, how come Tila hasn't shown her face? And like, why does she always post pictures from like three years old? What's wrong with her? She, she must be so cracked out. Oh, I saw her recently at a gas station. She looks so haggard. And, you know, so they start to build all this propaganda against me. And, and slowly you guys start to believe that and get confused. But do I look haggard to you? So, so now they stop talking about that. Now they say, oh, what's wrong with her face? What's, uh, did she get surgery? Okay, this is also trivial, which is my point. The point is they start to, and again, they're getting paid by the government. They're, they are part of the CIA. They have their drones, they're, they're spam bots. So they try to bully not only me, but that's why I say we need to stick together because it affects everybody not just me, you guys too, because slowly they start to argue with you and then they argue with you um, and then they start to harass you and bully you because you're defending me. And next thing you know, they start to talk about things that don't even matter. And that speaks for itself, okay? That they're showing themselves just by doing that. And if you're aware, like I am, I'm pointing this out to you. So next time, just be aware, just, just observe, okay? It's even on my website. Go to one of the, uh, the blog about Alex being fraud or whatever, or just one of those. Just look at all those comments from those haters, the CIA, and look how in-depth they go about trying to discredit me. I mean, think about it. If you were just, if you didn't like somebody, would you spend all your money building websites about them and going into detail about their whole life? going back from like five years ago, would you? No, of course not. But the reason why they're so passionate about doing that 
and trying to convince you is because then you start to argue with them. Then you start to argue with them. And again, they're very smart, okay? So then they start to have other tactics to make you start to feel like, oh my gosh, they're right. They want to make you feel silly. Like, then they start to make you feel like, oh, well, you guys are either just a bunch of perverts jacking off to photos or just a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, nobody wants to be labeled as that. So then you slowly back off. Guys, if I'm brave enough to stand up and be a public figure and be brave enough and have enough courage to stand up in front of everybody, then you should also be brave enough to not be bullied by these so-called drone bots. And the fact why they, they continue to talk about irrelevant things when all I'm doing is trying to help wake up the masses to the truth, why would they try to divert your attention on something that doesn't matter? Think about it. It's because they're trying to distract you into this whole argument that leads to something else, which then diverts your attention away from the truth that I'm speaking of. And then it becomes irrelevant. And then you just give up because they all start to attack you. And then you feel like, well, you know what? This isn't worth it. I'm getting bullied left and right. I'm just gonna forget about it. Don't fall victim to that, guys, because they are part of the others. Do not, that's why I keep telling you, don't even argue with them. I mean, the fact when you just say, you know what, whatever, drone bot, and leave it at that, because then, then they'll find other ways to attack you. And I have proof, which um, I'm not, it's gonna be hard for me to post on this video because then I have to edit it and put it all in and it takes forever. And since the, this is so important, I'm just gonna post all the proof on my website to debunk all of their false claims. But I just wanted to point that out to you guys first because everything I said has is true so far and I called it ahead of time. I said that there's a conspiracy against me because I'm speaking out and and if I wasn't telling the truth, if, if everything I'm exposing is a lie, then they wouldn't be so worried. They wouldn't block me. They wouldn't be feeling threatened. So the fact that they're so threatened and blocking me and trying to silence me and sending out all their CIA drone bots to bully all of you who support me and block you guys and, and fill up the pages with all their drone haters to make, to make you guys think like, oh gosh, I guess everyone does hate her, so I guess it's just me and her are by ourselves. No, that's wrong, that's not. The fact is, they are, there are millions of us in all this together. There's more of us than there are them. That's why they're threatened, they're scared. They don't want us to rise up and revolt. So that's why they, they want it to make it seem like there's less of us and more of them to scare us. But the fact of the matter is, you guys, there's actually more of us than they are them. So they're trying to cover that up too by blocking all the comments. And I have proof, like I said, I'm very smart, okay? And the fact is I was, I'm an insider and I know these things, so I'm able to point them out to you. And thank God that I am because you guys can now see it happening for your own eyes. For instance, like I said, um, Larry King, you know, Larry King uh, was, they actually invited me on his show to give me, you know, to let me talk about stuff. And they sent Larry King a letter threatening Larry. And uh, next thing you know, uh, they set me up and put me on that, that Jane, whatever bitch. It's all been set up, I have proof. And uh, same with Alex. Okay, now this message goes out to Alex. Alex Jones. First of all, Alex, people, they contacted me. We spoke on the phone. And Alex, I'm gonna have to, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna post up all of the emails that you guys sent me and what I said in return ahead of time. And I'm gonna post it up on my site to let the world know. And Alex, um, people are really upset because they feel like, we feel like you, you sold out on us and you're part of the others because why would you do that? You deliberately set me up. And then all of a sudden, when the show was over, 
he had one of your people call me and he sounded really nervous. He didn't, he was like mumbling. And I said, you know what? Why would you do that? Because I told you that I was telling the other one, I said that um, you know, a lot of my fans are are we're looking forward to this. And the fact is I already called it out ahead of time. And then they he he was like, Well, yeah, you know, it's just that um you know, it's just a uh, last minute, you know, but, but he would love to have you back next week. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to kiss anybody's ass. I'm not one to be fucked with. I, and I'm very well aware of what's going on. So I told him, I said, okay, great. If indeed you want me back on the show next week, then I need you. I need Alex this time to make that announcement. It's not me because everyone's aware and everyone's very disappointed. And the fact is, Alex Jones, I'm saying this to you, if you're not one of the others, then prove me wrong. Prove all of us wrong. Tell us why, what really happened. Tell us why you deliberately contacted me to invite me on the show, told everyone to promote it. And then the day of the show, um, Nothing happened, no mention of me at all. Was that another ploy to make me look like I'm crazy making things up when in fact I even have proof, an email and a phone calls? So, and then they try to tell me, oh, well, we want to have you back next week. Really? I'm not going to fall for that again because that happened to me before. Like I said, Larry King was not the first to do that. There's another guy. This guy, I'm going to call his name out as well. His name is Shiraz. He works for Hollywood TV. And um, at one point he was pretending to be my friend, to be supportive. It was just like, oh my gosh, you, you know, you feel so bad for what's happening to you right now. And, you know, we want you to speak, tell your side of the story. And, you know, it's horrible what's going on. And what I need you to do, to do is post a blog and let everybody know that you're gonna be, um, invited to, I'm not gonna say their name because I'm not gonna try to promote their stupid store. So he, so I did what he said and uh, he, he, he said, you know, just, yeah, there's gonna be, you're, you know, there's gonna be like 10 fire trucks and we've never had this type of response before. It's amazing, Tila. So make sure to post that blog soon, post it tonight and let everybody know how, how, how many supporters are coming and, we're so excited. We've never had this type of response before. We're so supportive of you. So I did what he said. I posted a blog and said, hey, everybody, I'm so excited about, you know, being invited to blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, the very next day after I posted that blog, the, the guy who invited me and told me to do that, the press contacted him. He, he, he made a press release saying, we have no idea what she's talking about. We don't condone people like Tila Tequila and what she stands for that, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so they deliberately set me up, okay? And there's many, many more situations like this that's happened. And I have proof of that. So I, I kept calling and emailing him and he said, why would you do that? But then, you know, anyways, Fast forward till today, like I said, I know a lot, okay? And just years of being abused and seeing what goes on in the inside and finding out a lot of what the government is doing to the people, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So that's why I'm standing up for you guys. And I want you to, what I didn't, you know, I didn't, re, I didn't, back then, so after all this happened, I had had enough. There was just so much. So I laid low for a long time. And then, so, okay, I was no longer a threat. And then I came back. And then I was slowly starting to speak about this. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. And boom, I'm back on the radar. And, at, and now all these drone bots are back. They are back more than ever. They're starting to even contact people directly. So please, 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 you guys do not fall for their tricks. Do not argue with them because they're just trying to divert you to things that don't even matter to distract you from the actual 
from the point to begin with, which is the truth. They're going to be arguing with you about trivial things about my past. Or, oh, she's lying. Well, who's, here's the proof. First, first they said that, um, they started saying that, oh, well, Teal is part of the Illuminati. She's just here to um, be part of the agenda to, you know, the new age movement, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, now that there's proof that I'm not, now they're saying, and now they're going back to other stuff. So what is it? What is it, guys? Hmm? So am I some haggard person who's been hiding my face because I'm so disgustingly ugly now? Or is it the fact, am I part of the Illuminati or not? Because one minute you say that I am, and now that I prove that I'm not, you go off and say all these other stuff. So make up your mind. <laughs> You're an idiot. The fact is, we all know the secrets now because I've known for years. And now that I'm not going to keep quiet anymore, as the more you try to shun me and quiet me, the louder I'm going to be. And you're not fooling anybody but yourself because I'm letting the people know and more and more and more and more people are seeing the truth, which I speak of because the proof's all right there and I'm going to further prove myself. First, they also said, well, where's the proof that she was invited? But okay, you know, guys, just overall ignore those spam bots and because I will give them credit. They're part of the government. So of course, they're very smart. I'll give you guys that. You're very smart. You're very smart. And honestly, guys, Twitter deleted my account for no reason. But I'm going to show you proof that um, these so-called random haters, they're not, ha they're not these random haters at all. They're part of the, the government's cover-up to discredit me on a mass level, but they cannot discredit me as long as I have you guys. And I know, we all know, there's more of you guys who, who are waking up to their bullshit, okay? Because I am about to post up the proof on my website right now. So everybody watching this video, please download it because Facebook is also blocking out a lot of your comments, a lot of people's posts, so nobody can see it. So therefore the message is not being heard. So please download this video. Please download all my videos and repost it on your websites. And make sure to subscribe because that's the only way you can keep in contact with me because every time I make a post, you're gonna get notified. All right, I'll see if... in the email. Also instill fear into the world. So we're all scared and Lost a lot of credibility, Alex. So those are some important notes, but I really wanted to get her talking about the Colony Center. One second. You know what? Let's just talk about my program, darling, Queen Elizabeth, and the pedophilia ring, and the colony center. That's right, darling, the colony center. Yeah, for some reason, this is the only audio available for uh, when she was referencing the cloning centers, but let's take a listen. 
Kenapa aku tak faham? This is just part of a slip program, darling. Queen Elizabeth and the pedophile earring and the colony centers. That's right, darling. The colony centers. Parents, listen to me right now. They are blocking me, but that is quite all right. They're blocking me, but that's quite all right. Because I have many, many other forces. I should not say their names right now. They have many big plans to expose all of you disgusting, sadistic fuck. Okay? That is all. I shall save that for another time. But, however, I shall repeat that was just an introduction to the reptilian family leading all, all the way back. They call themselves the Black Ability. Now that is just one part of it. All right, the Black Ability, the reptilian family decide all the way back from ancient times so which they think they feel like they are the divine chosen ones. From whom may I ask? All right, so you can see the audio was a little scattered, but you got the gist of uh, what she was saying. Those are some big claims. And like I said, uh, she's she died after. Uh, so that's kind of like a telltale when something like that happens. Now we'll just take a quick look for copyright reasons at a short excerpt from Kanye West's music video called Famous. Uh, you know, they usually the people who, who want to expose the truth, they try to tell you in the most subtle ways they can. And this video is very important. Just wanted you to know. The Swiss only let the beat rock. All my south side niggas that know me best. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. I made that bitch famous. For all the girls that got dick from Kanye West. If you see him in the streets, give them Kanye's best. Why? They mad they ain't famous. They mad they still nameless. A man in the store trying to try his best. But he just can't seem to get Kanye fresh. But we still hood famous. Yeah, we still hood famous. I just wanted you to know. So you get the gist of that video. as it, it, Yeah, it's pretty pretty uh, bland. All right, now we'll take a listen to uh, what B.O.B. said in the song. Uh, this song is pretty, um, pretty interesting as far as the lyrics that he chose to say. Um, I would implore everybody to go and like listen to a couple of his, uh, you know, talks on YouTube. Um, this is somebody who's been in the industry for a very long time and has a lot of knowledge. So uh, that's a credible source. Members of the hip hop community are mourning the shocking death of wealth. And if you can see behind the Hollywood sign, it's like a, a baby. So it's like pretty telling. Found dead this morning in a hotel room in Los Angeles. Uh, it was two o'clock this afternoon when authorities say they found her. They found her in her hotel room. Actor, comedian, died early Saturday morning in Chicago. He was suffering from a lung condition called sarcoid sarcoidosis, which many of us probably haven't heard until this morning. The death of a child star died today in the Utah hospital two days after suffering a brain hemorrhage. He was found dead today in an apartment here in New York City. His body was discovered yesterday. A cleaning lady found him face down 
at the foot of his bed. They, they did confirm that prescription sleeping pills were found in his apartment and taken from the apartment, though. The coroner found uh, bottles of prescription pills inside her hotel room bathtub. Tragic death of actor performer who was known for his extraordinary range after what they believe was a heroin overdose. Uh, reporting that he died following a cardiac arrest. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that took will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. What's going on? If someone is trying to kill me, I've called three times. I'm running down the highway. Okay, I've called 911 about eight times on the trip I've had. You so fucking star, who fucking who? You don't realize who fucking you. You so sucker than the who fucking who? You don't realize who fucking you, motherfucker. Bend over, bend over. Grab your ankles, touch me. Bend over, bend over, bend over. Grab your ankles, touch me. Bend over, motherfucker. Uh. You so fucking star, who fucking who? You don't realize who fucking you. So suck it in the who fucking who you don't realize who fucking you motherfucker been on you talking about who you fucking kidding do this for a fucking living private life public life i can tell the fucking difference trying to say that people love the business square foot a hundred bitches hoes horn that ain't nothing new if i ain't hit it someone hit it bob it's more than life than money riches it's more than like the fucking bitches. Screenshots, ass shots, and some rock shots. That's why I don't trust them bitches. She ain't friendly with the mother bitches. All they hear is her is competition. She just want to come a minute. She just want a hundred million followers. Back it up, bend it over on the side list. On your back, knees up, gynecologist. And you know who stays anonymous. Put it together, then it's obvious. But you so focused on who fucking who, you don't realize who fucking you. You so sucker than the who fucking who, you don't realize who fucking you, motherfucker. Pin over, pin over. Grab your ankles, touch me. Pin over, motherfucker. Pin over, pin over. Grab your ankles, touch me. Pin over, motherfucker. You be bugging off a who fucking who, you don't realize who fucking you. You be bugging off a who fucking who, you don't realize who fucking you, motherfucker. Pin over, Bob. Miss me with them conscious lyrics. You sound just like the one percenters. You must have did a bunch of acid. Either that or you just fucking with us. You want to be a star, sell out concert tickets. A mansion in a Hollywood subdivision. You get the fame on the one condition. You get copied at the Tony Center. They kill them with a common enemy. Overdose from a drug addiction. Same story, same headline. A stroke, a heart attack, an aneurysm. Celebrities and politicians. Just to name a couple members. Rituals of pedophilia. Sacrifices, blood religion. The Queen of England got arrest warrants for the disappearance of a dozen children. Do your research on the topic. At the same time, every year, kids come up missing. But you so vocal. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there and let you let those uh, lyrics kind of marinate for a second. Hey everybody. Good boo. Welcome to Vlad. All right. So this is somebody else who has a similar story. Like I said, when multiple people come out saying something that's consistent, then you should go and do your research uh, so that you can solidify it within your own being, your own consciousness. But let's take a listen. TV. Making a lot of noise recently, man. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you know, everyone works towards that, you know, that video that goes viral. And it looks like you have like a nice little handful of that. You know what I mean? It's a big accomplishment. Yeah, I got my hand with it for now. <laughs> Thanks to these accomplishments. Got a few okay. more extra things in my hand I didn't quite anticipate, but it all comes with the territory, I suppose. Right. So, 
Uh, where'd you grow up? South Florida. Okay. I guess you originally were born in Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, my first gen. I'm a second gen now. That's why you see the celebrity births say I'm born in Toronto, but that's false. My first gen was born in Jersey. However, I was cloned by Clonate in Canada. My model number is 0112562. Anyone wants to see the registration in Clonate? Okay. So you end up in South Florida. All right. I'm going to stop right there. And again, just let that marinate. Think about it for a second. Now, I'm not familiar with who this guy is uh, at all. Um, just came out of nowhere. He could be just a, a troll that they sent out. I mean, you never know. You really have to just kind of do your research on these people before you kind you make, uh, I don't know, you, you believe something. But it's interesting that this person has accumulated a lot of uh, fame and came out with this video. Let's take a, let's take a look at it. Yeah. The Illuminati knows the answers, taking bone samples to clone rackers. Put the artists in prison to silence their vision, genetic copies going home after. They look different, eyes shifted, smile missing, skin lifted, it's scientific. If they can't control you, they erase the old, you get your duplication to enforce the message. They clone Gucci, clone Kodak, clone Eminem, he ain't raps his encore, know that. Clone new rappers when they overdose to keep making money from producing more tracks. The game is a sham, turning the artists who challenge to sacrificial lambs. The labels and devils are shaking hands, creating our artists and labs. The executions have been televised, oh, they on TMZ like a night. They take our heroes, give us weaponized clones. The revolution won't be televised. I can't be replicated. Copy the attitude and the chains, but no one will ever do me the same. I'm not a big fan of what he's saying, but let's just try to get to the next, uh, I mean, the, the course. <laughs> Let's try to get to the next uh, verse. Jeez, they can't escape. I can't be replicated. If they killed the rappers who were spitting truth, they wouldn't have a messenger to reach the youth. So they duplicate physically, implant abilities, replicate tattoos and cloning facilities. Indie contracts say worldwide. Label contracts say universal. For all of time and all forms, they own all your music, your image, your name, and your person. <laughs> Weird, right? I know you don't think that is facts. But for 50,000 and a hair sample, you can clone your dog or your dying cat. It's another way for them to win the war by weaponizing important celebrities. Don't kill your foes, just clone their gods. Then you'll control all your enemies. The executions have been televised, though. They're on TMZ like a night. They take our heroes, give us weaponized clones. The revolution won't be televised. I can't be replicated. Copy the attitude and the chains. So like I said, man, it's interesting. Let's see if he says anything else. It's in the matrix, they can't escape. I can't be replicated. You can see the difference in their face now. Cash. Actually, I think you just said something about the matrix. So let me back up because I want to I want to catch that. In their face now. Casualties of be a slave. I'm the glitch in the matrix, they can't escape. I can't I'm a glitch in their matrix. <laughs> it's funny, that's what truthers are. Um, that's why truthers get silenced, but truthers are the glitch in the in the game, the system, the simulation. A clone of someone who they used to be. I can't be replicated. Copy the edge. Oh boy, that course. Let's see. Whew, I can't do it. DNA. I can't be replicated. All right, I think that's it for, <laughs> for that video, but. Y'all got the message. Ooh, that's horrible. It's good. Now this video here is uh, very important as well. Um, it, it was never debunked. Um, actually, a lot of people came out, uh, a lot of celebs came out and you know kind of supported the message. So let's see what he's saying here. This is uh, Donald Marshall. 
Because um, reptilian shapeshifters that David Ike talks about, he's, he's kind of got the story wrong. They're not dimensional at all, they're this dimension. And um, yeah, they're not spiritual, mystical, or anything. It's pretty sick. But I'll tell you about that in a second. First, I wanted to tell you about the cloning stuff, okay? Now, human cloning, I have to tell you, it's been done since at the end of World War II, okay? Um, I'll tell you how they got it and uh, the whole shebang, like 33rd degree Freemason knowledge. We're probably going to die for this somewhere along the lines. Um, it's not good. <laughs> um, okay. Picture this. I'm memory memor repressed about everything. I couldn't remember anything. I'm still getting uh, side effects from this. Um, about I was memory repressed about the cloning stuff until I was 30 years old. They call it the awakening when they give you back the memories. Turns out they had me there since I was five years old. Okay. And uh, my family is there, my family members and everything. And uh, they said uh, they're not going to lie on a lie detector test about it. It's, it's pretty big. Like they were going to kill me, they said. Uh, thing is, the way that this cloning works, okay. There's two different kinds of cloning and it, conf it, conf blah, blah, it confuses people. Now there's uh, replication cloning where it comes up as a baby, right? Put the cells in, make the same person as a baby. Well, there's duplication cloning as well where they grow you in a big thick tank fill full of water. And well, there's a few different grades of cloning. There's Mark one to four that I know of. And the problem I'm having is with the Mark two thing is mark one was around at the end of the, the world war ii but it was a primitive clone lots of side effects um anyway uh this is even on the net i before i started blasting on the net about this uh somebody said something about the mark one to four clones and the first one being called the organic robotoid and uh that's what it was called even though there's no robotic parts in it at all anyway uh mark two is an REM driven clone. Okay, now what that means when you go to sleep, the Illuminati, this is their main form of communication too. They don't call people on the phone. They don't meet at the Bohemian Grove anymore. Since they got cloning, they meet at the cloning station when they go to sleep. Each of them, I don't know how they do it exactly. Okay, or else I'd know how to block it. But they can, uh, they can transfer your consciousness into a clone at the cloning station if they have a clone of you. And they used to have to use a tissue sample from you, or uh, I guess they said uh, the cells from a woman's past mirror is like really rich in the cells to, to make one of these duplicate clones. Um, they used to use kids' foreskins that were discarded at the hospital to get removed. That's what happened to me. Um, but now they said they've uh, upgraded the technology in the last 10 years, so now they only need blood. What they used to do with the tissue, well, they could also, uh, they used to set this little oil drill looking thing over a person's forearm, strap their arm to a chair. And the, this drill, it had things on it that opened up, right? Now it would go in and when it spun, uh, these things would open up. But then when it stopped, the things, the things would close again. Now this is done, it goes in, comes out, in, comes out and what, what it was doing it uh it has to agitate the tissue they told me when i was a kid uh to a certain degree i guess like they said the easiest way to tell a person in layman's terms about it is you know when you have a hangnail and you pull it off and the white stuff that accumulates inside eventually it'll form like a scab and new skin and it'll grow over well to get that white stuff to really work good they agitate tissue a certain amount of times. Now they just agitate blood from like a blood sample even. And uh, yeah, cloning is a uh, very prevalent. It's like a secret thing among the like elite. They use it for their crazy stuff. You name it, they've done it. Like jump off of cliffs, everything. Um, I know all about it. The thing was when I was memory repressed, I was seeing other people becoming unmemory repressed and I hated this place and these people bunch of scumbags doing nasty things to each other, right? Like uh, there's privileged ones there and there's underprivileged ones there. And so people are pretty mean on people. And uh, well, I wanted them to, to do the awakening on me so I could go to the cops and get the cops on them. Well, the thing is they are the cops too. 
point. This is the link, the linchpin in how the Illuminati and WO works, because like most of the leaders from the G20 countries go there, about 14 of the G20 countries. And then there's leaders from countries that don't even fit in the G20 that go there too, right? And uh, cloning, it's, it's really normal. Well, Britney Spears made a video about this place because thing was to get advertised and promoted and stuff, she had to basically sell her clone, uh, use of her clone at the cloning center. So let's take a quick uh, glance at this video. He's referring to like a clip from it. All right, so this clip is probably what he's referring to. Let's just take a quick look at it because uh, I'm not going to listen to the song. So if you can see here, this is the reference that he's talking about. Um, and this exact image has been referenced a lot. Um, so it's when you see something that's consistent and people like her coming out saying something that with a consistent story that risking their life and it's something you should look into. Um, but let's get back to the Donald Marshall video. So the thing was, she signed up right away thinking, yeah, sure, I'll be famous, famous. The thing is, um, they wanted to use her every night. Old men and stuff, old men and clones on her and real people on her clone suit. So she doesn't have dreams anymore. Oh, they make songs and stuff about this all the time, but stuck in the dreams and Freddy Nightmare on Elm Street is based on this. Avatar is based on this too. Um, they do it all the time, communicate this way. But the thing is, uh, clones, cloning is a flawed technology this way because uh, your mind isn't the same. You're more, it's kind of like, um, you know, how, did you ever see Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, the movie? Yeah. Where they bury it and they come back wet? Well, they're almost as bad as that. And uh, this is only one aspect of what they do. This is like, this is the, the biggest expose day on the Illuminati guys ever, what they do, secret, secret, right? Because the thing being, how I know is because I acted very loyal to them. When, in my All right, so... Um, you can go and watch this video in its entirety. Um, there's a title um, and see what he has to say, but those are the main points that we need to get out for this, uh, this lecture. About those um
All right, so you might ask yourself, what does it look like? Um, you know, this what this guy is saying, does it hold any weight? You know, can they control and make the clones malfunction and whatnot? Um, so let's take a look at this video and, you know, you, you make your own decision. What a scare. Wendy Williams, dressed as Lady Liberty, faints on live TV. <laughs> The frightening moment begins with her slurring her words. Our first caress. Then she wobbles and suddenly collapses. Cage hands rush to help her as the show goes to black. I mean, really look at that. People are wondering, was it for real or a Halloween prank? After I mean, that... With me being a professional actor, you know, I that was not acting at all. <laughs> that was that was real. Uh, let's continue. All right, so here's another example of a glitch uh, of a clone. <laughs> it's not funny, but here's another example. <laughs> Let's take it back so you can see the, the, the beginning of it. You can kind of see her where she starts to malfunction and then just completely glitches. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, that's, your eyes are not deceiving you. Continue with with uh, some more receipts here. Keep your eyes on Aroka here. That's exactly how you have to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. and your high. Yes, yeah, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years. You see that it was like a cold where it was said and you just, just snapped, right? Between yes, the bodies exactly. and your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away. The king of rock and roll, as Mark Cohn says in his great song. Yeah, guys, that's... That's not normal. And I, you know, for me growing up watching this TV personality, I've never seen that before. So things that make you go, hmm.
All right, so thank you guys for your attention, for watching. Uh, make sure you share this if you find it interesting. Um, I have, you can follow me on uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. You know, we have about 220,000 people uh, in, in the mystery school right now. So that's a large number of you guys. And I'm very grateful for all of you. So uh, the next lecture after this one will be Exit the Matrix, the simulation. We'll, we will be, that one's going to be a little bit more in depth. Uh, this one was super basic, a beginner video, um, just to kind of get the live uh, lecture started. But this one was super basic. And then the next one will go a little deeper. Um, but the next one is going to be exit the matrix, the simulation will we'll decipher our reality and what we what can be proven, um, you know, and before the next live lecture, go and watch the movie, the matrix uh, and listen to every single word of that movie. All right, guys, thank you for your attendance in 5D Mystery School. I love you. Take care of yourself. Peace.